Hi guys, what's up? This is Kenex here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna create stars in our scene, in our world. And uh, for you guys that don't know how to create it, today I'm gonna show you every step, uh, the full process, how to create it in the, easy, in the easiest way ever, okay? Uh, today I'm using a webcam, if you didn't realize, I'm using a webcam. It's not the best webcam because I don't have money. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and that's it let's go to the blender and learn something okay guys let's go all right guys we are here in blender and uh, first of all uh, let me just tell you to see the other videos that I'm uploading to YouTube because you're gonna learn something from it and that's good uh, for your improving in the blender platform so that's it and uh, let's start with this tutorial first of all we gonna just uh, delete this default cube and let's just jump right in to our shading tab all right here we're gonna click this red arrow and uh, bring this world opposite opacity down and let's activate the scene world and the scene lights why not and now we're gonna just play with the nodes to get something that we want that is basically stars okay so first of all let's go to our worlds okay and here we have two nodes that it's the background and the world output okay and uh, for uh, this tutorial we just need to go to edit and preference and activate the node wrangler okay node wrangler right here activate this add-on and we are ready to start the tutorial okay now let's uh, add here a color ramp okay and a noise texture now we have a noise texture and a color ramp connects the the factory to the factor of the color ramp and the color to the color of the background okay i'm gonna uh, try to be fast as i can just to be a short video and you learn fast how to create it so now we have the noise texture and we just need to click ctrl t okay Br to bring these two nodes the mapping and the texture coordinate this only will work with the ctrl t if you have the node wrangler on okay guys and now we just connect the mapping nodes to our object okay not to the generated but to object okay and here let's bring our scale okay something like that and we just need to play a little bit with the color ramp to get the work that we want i think that this is cool but we can do something really cool basically we can go over here and change the colors and have something really new to work with and now we have our scene world with stars uh, white and and some uh, uh, stars with all with other colors that it's something that you want for the purpose of this video we can just uh, delete this now we have our stars and you can see them and uh, the the most uh, probably good thing for from this tutorial is that you can uh, use basically the two renders uh, that you have you can use EV you can use cycles it's probably the same thing okay guys it's literally the same uh, effect that you are gonna have uh, from EV or cycles okay uh, you can uh, activate ambient occlusion the bloom will not have any effect and uh, you can use this to the to render so it's basically a good thing to know and uh, uh, something that you, you want to know because when you are creating something that will not need uh, cycles and uh, you want to create something uh, like stars and uh, uh, to be rendered in EV and be uh, with the same quality that cycles this is a good uh, thing to do okay and it's basically the tutorial so i hope you guys uh, like the, this tutorial uh, this fast tutorial that I, uh, I have done if you didn't saw the last video that i uh, that i uploaded that it's basically it's basically a modeling process timeless or uh, time lapse of ancient greek environments that i uh, i've created in blender and if you didn't saw go see it because it's really cool and tomorrow will be uploaded 
the third and the last part of that uh, modeling process so I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends so that's it and uh, goodbye guys